Major developments in a shocking case that we've been following since the start. Today on his 16th birthday, a young murder suspect learned that he will be tried as an adult for the capital murder of Caitlin Hernandez. A teen's body was found in a ditch on the northeast side back in March, strangled and sexually assaulted. News for San Antonio's Robert Price explains why her accused killer will no longer be treated as a juvenile. A not so sweet 16th birthday for Daryl Barrera, the last person to see Caitlin Hernandez alive, a young boy from this neighborhood who the family considered a friend. He just found out he will be tried as an adult for her capital murder. Daryl Barrera, stand up, please. The back of Daryl's blue jumpsuit says BCJD, Bear County Juvenile Detention, but that's about to change in the eyes of the law. At this time, the juvenile case has ended. It's time for the adult case. Prosecutors say Daryl and his friend Caitlin Hernandez went for a late night walk March 12th, but Caitlin never came home. The medical examiner's ruling was uh, death caused by strangulation. Daryl claims he and Caitlin parted ways at a nearby bus stop, but police say surveillance videos, cell phone records, and DNA evidence contradict that story. When it comes to the defendant, Daryl Barrera, there was DNA found on her neck, her fingernails, uh, her vaginal swab. They believe he sexually assaulted Caitlin, strangled her, then dragged her nude body to this drainage ditch a half mile from her house. When Daryl was born, um, he was born with drugs in his system. Daryl's probation officer has met with him once a week since his arrest in late April. He says he does have uh, anger and aggression um, issues. He felt that it stemmed from his trauma. An abusive father, an incarcerated mother, eventually adopted by his aunt. He um, admitted that he has killed about 20 raccoons. His adoptive mother calls him a sex addict. He admitted that he was fascinated with porn. Um, he stated that he had observed his biological parents having intercourse. Um, on at least two occasions, and they allowed it. His probation officer calling Daryl sophisticated and mature enough to understand what's going on, but deeply troubled. I think there's insufficient resources and time to rehabilitate him if we keep him within the juvenile justice system. The judge agreed. A big relief for Caitlin's family. What Daryl Barrera did was an adult decision, so therefore... We are so grateful. While Daryl will stand trial as an adult, he will continue to be housed at the Bear County Juvenile Detention Center. His bond set at $250,000. I'm Robert Price reporting. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to get all the latest news right here.